be spending time with family and friends today and you'll probably be firing up that grill maybe. But before you do, we wanted to get to the bottom of a debate that comes up every time this year. Can grilling cause cancer? Adrian Broaddus talked to a doctor to verify fact from fiction. I'll sit for a minute. Families are firing up their grills That's easy. as we head into the summer months. Especially with a gas grill, what could be easier? But is easy the best option? Some love that charred meat, but is it safe? We asked Monica Will. She directs nutrition and food services at Methodist Hospital in St. Louis Park. There is always questions that come up with does it could it cause cancer if I eat too much of this? It meaning burnt meat. Does it cause cancer? There is some evidence that if you cook at a high temperature, it could do that if that's all you ever ate over the course of a year or if you cook everything to a burnt state. What is considered a high temperature? A flame that's coming off your grill that's really burning a product. If you're cooking your meat too high and it gets a piece of hard burnt on it, you should cut that piece off and discard that. You say cut the burnt part off. Yes. Some of the men in my family will say that's the best part of the yeah, meat. Yeah, see, a lot of people like that taste of that charcoal burnt. And it, actually, it's not the best thing for us to eat. When you eat meat like that, is it can change your DNA composition. Now, if I get into all the chemistry, nobody's going to really want to know that. Oh, you might be surprised. Not trying to grill you, but we want more. Well, you're changing the composition of your meat. And the meat is a piece of muscle, and there's a this is really technical. There's proteins in it, which are amino acids, and you can change the composition of that. So, are warnings that say grilling meat, poultry, and fish can create carcinogens wrong? And it may cause cancer. I mean, they don't know. There's nothing that we can definitely say it's going to do that. I mean, you can get um, a piece of smoked salmon or smoked meats that can cause the same effect as grilling a piece of meat on a grill. So what do we do? Boil everything? No, no, no. Yuck. I grow my food, but do I do it every night? Probably not. I would advise them to do it in moderation. It's summertime. People are going to grill their food.